Hello, it's been a couple of weeks since I did anything in Unity. Rather than continuing with the, the tutorials I was doing, I figured I would start up uh, a quick new series just to get back into the swing of things. Um, uh, there was a lot of interest in a, a finishing up or redoing the Minecraft-like, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. Uh, instead, first I'm going to play around with a game about snapping pieces together. Uh, basically, it's a castle building game. Uh, and this will be uh, a good tutorial if you're trying to figure out how to do uh, various camera tricks and uh, building meshes and base building, uh, all three of which I will be using pretty heavily. So this is just a new project, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import uh, the... Uh, where are my skyboxes? There they are. They're under S for skyboxes. Who would have guessed? going to import the skyboxes. Uh, now, last time I imported all the skyboxes, and that actually made the the program, it made the uh, the download massive. It was like 20 megs of skyboxes. We don't need that kind of detail, so what we're only we're only going to go ahead and import um, the one we want, which in this case we'll go ahead and use a sunny one. And in order to do that, we're going to need the sunny one subdirectory. Here it is like that. And that should keep our file size small because they're TIFFs, meaning they're like massive. Alright, so you can see that we now have the skybox, so we'll go to the main camera and we'll add a uh, component rather, add a uh, yeah, it's been a while since I did any of this stuff, so you have to be patient with me while I get back into the swing of things. Alright, so now we're back into having a skybox. Uh, now we do need a surface, so let's go ahead and just add uh, the terrain assets. Uh, assets. And we'll just create a flat surface from our, for our terrain here. Um, this isn't going to be a Minecraft-like, so we're not going to worry about uh, uh, creating our own terrain. We're going to go ahead and let the terrain be created automatically. Um, but we want to place the camera and the terrain in a good position, so... Like that. Uh, we're going to need a camera, so let's go ahead and create one. I mean, uh, sorry, a light source. And now down here in the terrain, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into an actual terrain by editing textures under the paint window. So when you import the terrain textures, you get this box here, and it comes it comes with a couple of textures you can use. Uh, all of these flat textures. Uh, let's go ahead and use this grass hill texture as our primary, and then let's go ahead and use this. Uh, grass rock texture as our secondary. Uh, let's go ahead and change the sizes so they don't overlap quite as, quite as much here. Uh, we don't want the grids to be quite that distinct if we can avoid it. So this allows you to paint a te uh, terrain and it's actually really valuable um, for making things in you know, cool looking. Um, unfortunately it doesn't appear to be... oh, I'm, you gotta select the correct texture. Yeah, there you are. So you can actually see how you can just paint whatever you need to. Um, so our main camera, we'll go ahead and just change this location so that it's um, a bit more uh, sky viewy, like uh, like that. Well, maybe not quite that bad. There we go. And uh, That'll do for now. And I was just going to go ahead and set all this stuff up this time, and next time we will do the basics of the actual uh, snapping together part, but this just sets up a scene that doesn't look too bad and has all the assets we're going to need later. Alright, so that was it for this first episode. Next episode we'll be actually starting to do gameplay um, right off the bat.